I know we are not the same people. When all the artifacts are assembled, the device they create is called the Armillary. In many ways, it's a model of the multiverse itself. Through it, you can reach the Unity. And from there, you can become Starborn. You've seen the terror the Hunter causes. Every time a Starborn goes through the Unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever's in their way. Different. I never know who you are when I meet a new version, but so much of you stays the same. It's hard. But each universe is precious in its own way. Mine will never have its original you in it again, as yours won't have its real me. It's not an easy experience to describe, but the Unity will speak to you. Offer you the chance to become Starborn. You will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. Everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion? Or is it testing us? they can be. Seek the moon of old earth. There are secrets there you must discover for yourself. Here, to open the way. Yes, I will say no more. Talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you. something. What would you like to know? I hope you and the ship both return safely. You need something? Yeah, I've picked some things up. Here you go. My life is an open I barely ever visited here before I joined Constellation. Good to be back. Constellation has suffered losses before human understanding of physics, as until now, 
shown no indication that such a thing is possible. And yet, we have now encountered two individuals physiologically identical to unique humans we already know, possessing knowledge and technology that it seems improbable for them to otherwise have. It is indeed possible that they are telling the truth that this unity does exist. More data is required. That would at least verify the assertion that the artifacts are necessary to reach the unity. Yes. Hey, I've been talking with the others and I'd like to get everyone together to say goodbye, you know, to Sarah. Thank you. It wouldn't be the same without you there. I'll have everything set up in a few days. Thank you for helping me out with the artifact. Okay, let's take a look. but I can't stop thinking about the idea that there are more of me out there. Even just one more Noel is crazy to consider, but dozens, hundreds, an infinite number of them? How different might they, m might we all be? Am I not even remotely the unique individual I thought I was? My head is spinning just considering it. No, thank you. Wouldn't mind burning some helium out in the fringe instead of... Gladly. You forget how much you take a place like... Counter to everything I've said and believed before. I've caught myself wondering if we ever should have started this search. If this is all true, and I have it right, we've potentially started a chain of events that will create more of these starborn. Or worse, enable the ones we've seen to become even stronger. I am not fond of either of those options. So maybe now we have no choice but to finish this journey before one of them does. I know. I know. I've said as much before. Look, I don't like the idea of siding with either one of these groups. I'd much rather see someone from Constellation get there first. I trust any of us far more than these Starborn. You can feel it. Can't... I, I thought I had a grip on the situation. I'm not so sure anymore. The Sanctum Universum believes that God wanted us to travel the stars. That's gotten us here. I is this... Could this be the next step in that journey? Is this what we were meant to learn out here? Could the unity... Could that be God? Or a, a way to reach him? I knew we were onto something big with the artifacts, but this... It's beyond anything I could have imagined. 
The one thing I'm sure of is that we have to see this through. We need to find the rest of the artifacts. Everyone seems more distant in the lodge. You do not need to ask me if you may ask. You may just... Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. You found it, didn't you? The meaning of unity. Wait, say that again? Multiple universes? You can't possibly mean what I think you mean. Hate to be the responsible one, but the big bombshell of what we're actually building here might need another second to sink in. Wanna go over this whole multiple universe thing for everyone? Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. Explains why the Starborn want the artifacts so bad. Get them all, and you've got a gateway to infinity. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind? Enlightenment? Or oblivion? Like the Hunter. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second-guessing it? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. You're right. This is a lot to take in. I guess a little time to get our head straight wouldn't hurt. But you know where I'll want to be when everyone's ready. Front and center. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Starborn. Aye. The Blackest Sea seems less of a concern when there are sharks leaping out at you. Catch a smile out there. The Lodge feels... of course. Are you ready? Looks like it's tag you're in, Andresia. Tag indeed, Sam. We will see you later. No more Starborn have shown up. Yet. Thanks for choosing Terror Brew. What can I get? Certainly. Please take your time. These rides are quick. I do not like being in small, enclosed spaces with many years. I am happy to help shoulder the load.
A good team always shares the load. you pleasing. I wonder if it matches the original vision of the artist, or if they changed the design as they worked on it. Hello. I have never been one to shy away from shouldering my share of a heavy load.
No breathable atmosphere. A little extra excitement, eh?
are discovered. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets.
moment to walk that off? center seems like a good
What? We haven't sent a distress signal. Nothing on the comms. No other ships in the system since our last supply drop. Look, what are you trying to pull here? Policy, but in a way that is reassuring. Suggest they know what they are doing. Do not worry about me. Go ahead and go. Follow me. I'll show you to the director. We'll take the back way up. Here, you can see our lovely storage area. Don't touch anything. So, uh... What the? Easy! Easy! What the hell was that? What are you talking about? One minute, you're following me, and then you're just gone. Minute later, you pop in out of nowhere, looking like you were in the middle of a fight. In our storage room. I should have never let you inside. What is this? Some kind of stealth tick? Who are you working for? <sighs> Look, I don't know what's going on. Let's get you to the director. Maybe she can figure this out. Come on, this way. Finally, someone came. The distress signal. You picked up the distress signal, right? It's been so long. I'm out of food, out of water, but I made it. I... Wait, how did you get in here? What are you talking about? No. No, no, no. This doesn't make any sense. Unless... The accident. Maybe... Maybe this is a side effect of the accident. If the probe is still feeding power to the distortion, then... <sighs> Three months ago. I was calibrating an experiment in our high-energy research lab. There was an accident. An explosion. It caused a gas leak. Sparked a fire. I was trapped in the control room. There was
There was nothing I could do. They're... They're all dead. An artifact? You mean... the metallic god? Hey, Sophia! We should... Wait. He's back. All right. We're on our way up. He was out. I was just filling in the director. Let's keep moving. If anything happens, the director's office is on the second floor, end of the hall. You can't miss it. Patel, research director. And this is our chief scientist, Maria Hughes. Ethan said you disappeared right in front of him. Twice now? Three times? Director, you can't be taking this seriously. Look, I don't know who you are or what you're doing here, but there has to be a rational explanation for all of this. What does our research have to do with this? No, it's fine. Let's start there. This facility and the research level two kilometers beneath us were built to study a gravitational distortion. Three months ago, our chief engineer was calibrating an experimental probe when something went wrong. We still don't know what happened. There was a series of explosions and somehow it's still running. Makes sense. That's why the field strength keeps increasing. We have a control unit for the probe. After the accident, I tried to use it to shut down the system, but the kill switch isn't responding. We could shut it off manually, but the entire research level is locked down. We can't even get down there. Not from up here. The explosion fried the network circuits. Without physical access to the research level, there is little we can do. We have been working in makeshift labs for months. What you see here are just our living quarters. Most of this facility is deep underground. We have a particle accelerator and extensive research and development labs. Or we did. An artifact? The multiverse? Other universes? And you have some connection with them then. Interesting. I wonder if that's why this is only affecting you. That is quite a claim. What makes you think that? Tell us about this other universe. Raphael? Raphael died in the accident. He... Wait. Burned out? The leak. Director, there was a hydrogen leak right after the accident. It was contained in a minute or two. But if it hadn't been, it could well have caused an explosion. Another universe, though. That's a lot to swallow. We're not sure. Raphael was in the lab near the ventilation controls. He could have stopped it. Maybe he did. Or died trying. You mean this other Raphael? No. How could we possibly do that? Raphael was a colleague and a friend. If there was some way to help him, I would. 
but it does seem unlikely. Presumed dead. As Maria said, the research level is still locked down, so we don't know exactly what happened. If he survived, he could have ended the lockdown, but... How? I told you the research level's locked down. We can't even use the damn elevator. So that's what you're after. Fine. And I want this lockdown to end. Perhaps we can help each other. We can't get to the lab. But you might be able to. In this other universe, Raphael survived. He made it back from the lab. So clearly his elevator works. Take it. And you might be able to shut down the experiment. This is crazy. But first, we have to do something about your shifting. Maria, do any of the other controls still work? Could we adjust the particle sampling rate or the beam voltage? You can't be serious. We have no idea what we're doing. This thing is already tampering with space-time. If this gets any worse... It may also get worse if we do nothing. Right now, this seems to be our only path forward. <sighs> All right. It's worth a try. Then it sounds like we have a plan. Come with me. The control unit is in the fabrication lab next door. What have we gotten ourselves into? Disappeared, and the ceiling caved in, and... and... <sighs> I thought I'd finally lost it. What? This place is falling apart. I don't understand any of this. If I hadn't seen you disappear with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. I... <sighs> okay, okay. You're my ticket out of here. We'll do this your way. We can get out through the pantry. Here's the key. I'll back you up, I guess. to clear this out, assuming the rest of the building doesn't come down on top of us. I was in the lab, working on the frequency calibration for the probe. I was walking out of the control room when it happened. I heard the tanks rupture. The alarm sound. I only had a second to react. I jumped back into the control room. The doors sealed. I was safe from the gas, the fire, everything. But I was trapped. 
There was nothing I could do to stop it. If I had gone the other way, maybe I could have made it to the ventilation controls. Killed the system. Even if it killed me. I don't know. I don't want to think about it. How should I know? You're the one who keeps winking in and out of existence. I just want to get out of here. Go do whatever you're going to do. I'll see if I can clear a path to the door. I'm not sure. It might stop whatever's happening to you. It's a reasonable theory, I guess. They're a native species. We had an electric pulse field to keep them out. The fire took out the generators, damaged the foundation. They just keep coming. What? I... Oh, it's you. You realize you just popped into my locked office. So much for security protocols. Uh, sure. Down the hall. Take the stairs next to the atrium. Yeah, let me get the doors for you. And done. Is there anything else you need? That's right. Has been since the accident. We can't connect to the control system to override it. The whole system's on a hair trigger. Camera spot anyone not in the staff database. They fire off an alarm and all hell breaks loose. Bigger than you'd expect. We've got a particle accelerator, whole lab complex, the high energy research lab. Real state of the art. Can't tell you what a tenth of it actually does. Uh, yes, Kataxi. Nasty things. The original survey team ran across them. You're welcome to read the old logs if you want. Yeah, I'll unlock the terminal for you. The Kataxi in the other universe. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. I've got an experimental thing one of the engineers put together. But... Uh... Huh. That makes a lot of sense now that I think about it. I'm trying to be reasonable here. All right. Yeah. It's never been field tested, but all yours. Did you get lost in the hallway? <sighs> right. This is the probe control unit. Most of these controls aren't responding. I'm going to very carefully adjust the settings I can. There's no way to tell what's about to happen. Pay attention and be ready for anything. I'll begin by adjusting the energy feed of the electron beam. We're at 93 terabytes. Calibrating to 95, 97, 100. Ugh, nothing. Let's try the other way. 91, 89. What the? Okay, okay. It looks safe to approach, but 
What in the world? It's a micro distortion. Flux pattern matches the distortion in the lab. The setting is just exposing it somehow. Step into the distortion, please. setting causes the distortions to manifest, and the higher causes you to shift. That seems promising. Keep it on the lower setting until you want to shift, and you should be able to avoid any more accidents. I'd give you my control unit, but it looks like you already have one from the other universe. Love to take a look at that when this is all over. Right. If you can get down to the research level, you need to make your way to the high energy research lab. Disengage the power interlocks, then pull the emergency shutdown to stop the probe. That should finally put an end to all this. Oh, and before you go, the director wanted to speak with you. It really is just down the hall. <laughs> 